In this video, we'll look at the IQ4 Live View options available in Capture One. To initiate Live View, push the Live View button under the camera in Capture One. This will then open the Live View window, where it will present you with some more options. By clicking the Camera tab, we can see all the camera controls available in Live View. We can customize these by clicking and choosing our desired settings. We can push H for hand and double click in to 100% to help us with our focusing. We can see under the camera focus tab, we have different options for adjusting the focus. We have three different types of focus adjustment, large, medium and small. We can click and drag around our image to make sure the entire image is in focus. Under the Live View settings there are more options available. Orientation can be selected for the Live View as well. This is specifically useful if you're shooting vertically down and the camera can't tell the orientation. We also have an overlay tool. This allows us to add a graphic or another image on top of our live view feed to help with composition. You can see here I can show the overlay, adjust opacity, scale, and where it's positioned horizontally and vertically on our live view feed. I feel the hand tool here is a lot easier as I can just click and move the logo around or resize using any one of the corners. We can then hide this when it's not in use. Under the camera settings we have an extensive set of settings which can all be customised. This can look a little overwhelming to start with, However, we can search for our settings in the top search bar and it will show only the relevant settings. Here I will search for focus peaking and when I enable this, we will see the focus peaking appear on the live view feed. Again, this is very helpful to get an accurate focus. Once things are in focus, you'll notice they light up green with the focus peaking feature. If you have dark areas that you want to check in your image, you can adjust the lightness slider. This will artificially brighten the live view feed, so you can check more carefully if you have the darker areas in focus. Finally, we can add live view focus meters to the image. These are small squares which will give an indication of which areas of the image are in focus. I can add multiple of these to make sure different parts of the image are in focus. I can also resize these so they're more accurate. Now when I adjust the focus, we'll see the orange squares either become full or become empty. The image is most in focus when the orange square is complete here. Finally, when I'm ready to take my image, I can click the capture button.